Here we have the HMS 1500 on a high flow setup to test how it does at higher flow applications. This was basically one of our best performers and the domestic level level setups and spec wise in theory it can do um, much higher flow rates and it was our power consumption king. So what we've got here is we're going to start a two bar and then test our power consumption as we go up in flow. So to start off with, we're going to use one flow meter here and let's see if we take it up to, let's start at about 3000 liters an hour. Okay, at 3000 liters an hour at two bar, we're pulling 480 watts, which is very efficient. If we take that then to 4,000 liters an hour, we're only up to about 512 watt. Let's to 5,000 there. Okay, they're at 5,000 liters an hour. We're drawing 700 watt. And they're at 6,000 liters an hour. We're only drawing 880 watt, which is very impressive. If we then go for higher flow, Let's try and do three thousand that side. There we're at about seven thousand liters an hour. At seven thousand liters an hour. It's still staying relatively quiet, and we're drawing a thousand two hundred watt. There's 8,000 liters an hour. It looks like it can actually maintain that at two bar. A little under there. A little bit. So we're drawing uh, 1,320 watt at 8,000 liters an hour. Let's see if we can get it to about nine. Mm. I don't hear the pump spooling up anymore, so I think we are basically at about what we can get from this pump. Yeah, we've, it looks like we can do a little bit over 8,000 liters an hour, and then we're maintaining about one and a half bar. All right, and that's at 1,300 watt. Let's see. How the power consumption is affected at two and a half bar. Start at 3,000 liters an hour. Okay, there's two and a half bar at 3,000 liters an hour. We're at 620 watt. 4,000 liters an hour. A little over. Still maintaining the two and a half bar, we're at 750 watt. Five thousand liters an hour, still maintaining pressure, and we're at 950 watt. And here we have six thousand liters an hour. We're maintaining the two and a half bar and we're basically pulling one kilowatt. Let's see if we can do 7,000 liters an hour. Okay, at 7,000 liters an hour, we're just barely able to keep it. We're at about just under the 2.5 bar and we're drawing 1,350 watt. All right, let's see, three bar.
Okay, a three bar, we're drawing 720 watt at uh, 3,000 liters an hour. It's still keeping pressure well. We take that up to 4,000 liters an hour. Still managing to keep three bar. We're at 880 watt. At 5,000 liters an hour, we're drawing one kilowatt, and we're still managing to keep our free bar. 6,000 liters an hour, also still managing to keep free bar pressure, and we're drawing um, 1.3 kilowatt. And yeah, we're, we're almost at 7,000 liters an hour, we're back down to about 2.7 bar, so we can't quite quite manage that. Let's have a look at 3.5 bar. The one thing you notice is at the higher flow, you do get a pressure drop before um, a flow drop before you. It, it manages to spool up the motor, so using it with a larger buffer tank would definitely help. 3,000 liters an hour at three and a half bar, we're drawing 840 watt. Four thousand liters an hour, I can still keep it, and we're drawing a kilowatt. Five thousand liters an hour. We're drawing one point two seven kilowatt, and we're keeping it, but not as stable. And at six thousand liters an hour, we can only get to three point two bar. We're not keeping. Uh, keeping the pressure anymore, and we're drawing 1.4 kilowatt. Let's see how, what flow we can do at four bar. At four bar. At about 3,000 liters an hour that we can maintain, and we're drawing a kilowatt. Four thousand liters an hour. We're drawing one point one five kilowatt. Five thousand liters an hour. We're no longer keeping pressure. We're down to three point eight bar, and um, that's at one point three kilowatt. So that's that's still decent. Three point eight bar. Five thousand liters an hour. Let's have a look at. Four and a half bar. Four and a half bar, we're struggling, but we're keeping 3,000 liters an hour at uh, 1.1 kilowatt. 4,000 liters an hour. Okay, now it's woken up. There we are actually keeping pressure on its pressure gauge at uh, 1.25 kilowatt. And at 5 bar, again, we can't keep it. We're down to um, uh, 5,000 liters an hour. Again, we can't keep it. We're down to a 3.7 bar there. Right, 5 bars there. So getting up to the top end of pressure-wise that it can do. Let's see, can it do 3,000 litres an hour at this pressure? No. Uh, we're basically getting to 4.5 bar um, as in the previous test. So for high, for high flow applications, it looks like up to 4.5 bar works. But that's about the limit. Okay, so in conclusion, the HMS pump can do actually 
quite a bit more than just the domestic application. It um, did quite well flow-wise and again really impressed power consumption-wise. Because um, power consumption-wise it did much better than I expected for the high flow. It stayed relatively quiet still, although at the higher pressures or higher flow the motor does spool up a lot more. Um, so it is louder than at uh, normal domestic domestic application but again great power consumption corrosion resistant and um, can actually supply quite a quite a high flow